Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, I think it is coming from my mic. So, let me fix my hair. Just kidding. Um, welcome back, guys. We are gonna do a playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy, even though I put Harry Potter because I thought it was funny. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get into this and see where we left off. It actually, like, I've not forgotten about our library venture. I'm playing in fair. 1080p this time. It's honestly not too practice. bad, but it Meet still runs a little glitchy. I know a discreet place near there. <laughs> this game would definitely be probably better on PS5. Just based on my experience so far. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. Uh, me... I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies. Away from <laughs> the and distractions. I say that's a level eight. Let's do this. I don't want to do no level eight. It... That would be rough. Sorry, I'm messaging someone just very quickly. Bear with me. I'm actually supposed to go this way. Bill, let me see how far that is. What if he's not making it up? But he is, isn't he? He's making it all up, all of it, nonsense. Fine, I'm making it all up. Oh, I absolutely hate you. I hate you. That is rather cruel and unusual punishment, I must say. I might hate you too. I swear I can't win around here. Next time I shall keep Clopton's musings to myself. So he did say something about me? My lips are sealed. I cannot believe how much I hate you. You'd better watch yourself next time I'm near a mandrake. My father writes to me every week asking about classes and wondering if I've made any new friends. I dread them. Every time our owl appears in the Great Hall, I simply cringe. I've been meaning to ask you. You wouldn't have an extra quill I could borrow, would you? Accidentally levitated Professor Vernon's sandwich once. He was fine about it. Actually complimented me on my long walk. Honestly, the way some of those Slytherins fall all over Professor Black, it's embarrassing. Even he seems irritated by it. And again, what isn't he irritated by? My aunt made some Amortentia once, because she wasn't getting along well with my uncle. know what to say when I write to my mother. Hello, mother. Classes are horrendously boring, and Professor Binns is still as dull as when you were in school. I sent a love letter to Imelda Ray's once, but I think she thought I was making fun of her because she's been rude to me ever since. When I said she was outspoken, I meant it as a compliment. My mother was shocked the first time I sent her an owl from Hogwarts. She'd never seen anything like it. She's a muggle, so of course that makes sense. What? Don't make that face. It's been ages since I've sent an owl back home. 
My father will be worrying. Huh? Perhaps next week. I'd like to send owls, but I have no one to write to. How many letters do you think come in and out of Hogwarts every day? Oi, can you help me? Sorry! Have you ever seen a professor outside the party? Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Professor, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley is actually pretty cool. I like Professor Weasley in this game. Usually Weasleys are like goofy. Chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, Evanesco. such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away.
Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Evanesco. Is that it? Yes. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Keep it down. Some of us are trying to rest. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Why does it keep on saying my gear slots are full? That's my gear slots are for. I don't get that. Hold on. Just got a gear. You gotta like. Yeah, you can still have it out. I don't really. Or even. 
Can I not get rid of it? There we go. No. Mmm, I can get rid of it. I honestly like the traditional... Hey, how's it going, Unchain? Sorry I didn't see your message sooner. I'm playing some Hogwarts. And I called it Harry Potter because I didn't feel like diving in Hogwarts. <laughs> I thought Harry Potter was funny, honestly. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. I've been putting this game off for a long time, and I wanted to actually beat this, even if it's an okay game, in my opinion. It's not a bad game at all. I like the Harry Potter movies, and I think it's an alright game so far. I mean, I'm not super ecstatic about it, but I like a lot about this game. I'm actually playing it in 1080p right now, too, and it definitely feels a lot better. <laughs> Sometimes I play it in 4K, but it doesn't run as great. Yeah, I think it's fun. I think it's a fun game overall. I got How does anyone to... my whole self manage to get around in here? I'm trying to think. I got to uh Vort. And Vort's like the first main boss in Dark Souls 3. Like, um, you have that first boss in the first area, which I guess would be the first boss, but Vort of Boreal Valley is where we're at. And I feel like I can beat him. I just, I only tried like once. What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should Wait, summon that. your wits and find out. <laughs> A golden snitch. Akio. Get out of the way. Oh, I guess you're supposed to go under. I might be able to go above, actually. Nope. I'm probably gonna play some more Dark Souls today, too. That's weird. Akio. All right, screw that. <laughs> oh, I think I see what to do. Do that. Never mind, it won't go forward. Unless... Akio. There we go. 
Oh, no, I guess not. <laughs> Actually, I just now seen. Hmm. Can you break that? No, you can't really break it. I don't know. That's weird. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. He's I like... mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. That's nice. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Thing to identify for now at least you'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified the desk will be an invaluable resource i imagine the desk of description will come in handy it will i hope you'll take advantage of it now i'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring the room might not provide everything you need on its own conjuring Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. 
Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Conjuring spell. Let's try that out. Uh. Oh. Cool. Oh, they have a whole crafting system in here. Now that surprises me. Small. Burner. All right, we're, we're gonna do small for now. Wait, what? Oh, it's a potion. Well, that's what I want anyways, so. You see how to place it. Hold. Oh, oh yeah, conjure. Got it. Oh, you can actually change the color of it, too. Cool. All right. So it requires dittany leaves, pork lump juice, and dittany juice. Ugh, dittany leaves. I was actually wondering where to get those. Ah, we'll just approach that chance. Defense, nice. I wonder how I return to this place. Utilities. What's this? Oh yeah, we already got one of those. Um... <laughs> Wall hangings, that'll be cool. A bitonical? Burner Acolescent uh -oh. Conjure a potting table And how would I do that? A potting table? Uh, maybe it's furniture? Nope Tables I don't know what that is. Oh, here it is. Ha! <laughs> it crashed. <laughs> And that's when you got a love PC.
Well, say I don't know if you if um you've ever played Kingdom Hearts, but Kingdom Hearts is really good too. I don't know why this game reminds me of it in a way. I'd like to get past this part, though, at least, because I want to get to the juicy storyline. I will say I hate the shader thing though, like every time you start the game there's a shader process. Alright, now we need to get that. Hopefully it doesn't crash again whenever, whenever we conjure it. Whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, sorry. It's the detonate leads I needed. It contains five. Cool. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I think I'm good. Also, oh boy. Well, I'm not worried about it. Let's do this for now. I can probably find Sebastian. Ah, oh, so that's how I do that. Um. Oh, 
This game never was well optimized for PC, though. I will say that. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my there sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students.
proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Yeah. Stick to I'm so excited. <laughs> Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Confringo! Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that it's nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. It's like a long-range fire attack. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, this... This is exactly the type... There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for... Haven't been here in some time. I'm sorry about your sister. Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Just let me know when and I'll meet. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. Well, meeting a new student will be. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way. I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what. I assume it's to do with what you told me about the port key. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. Ancient magic. I don't... Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hard... Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness... Are you telling me that goblins may be... That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours... I... Uh... Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. In the meantime... With both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place but When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in Potions Club. Did you just come from the Undercroft? Actually, Sebastian brought me there. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even... My father is friends with the headmaster, and I... Trust me, Ominous. Why should I trust you? Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this... I don't need you to tell me about... Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this.
think our only options are side missions at the moment, so... This seems fun. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. I would like to teach. Never mind, I will do Guardium Leviosa. to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed... You know I hate being left out. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said. And there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the Owlery? Yes, which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And 
Of course. Hogwarts, it's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, None of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces Traces of a powerful, dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. I think we have when we're riding through. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. Sorry if you can hear me breathing in my mic. It's, I had to raise the gain on my mic. 
up it's time you learned, Glacius, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you have done that, come and see me. Should have went and bought me a broom first. Still need to go do that. Yeah. idea. Incendio. So it can feed you, if you get my meaning. <laughs> Abandoned long ago, no doubt.
This isn't like a level 20 mission. I don't know, it's only level 11. Surprisingly. Over here! Go grab this really quick. Intriguing pace, San Bacar's tower. Lovely view, I'd imagine. No idea who this Bacar is, mind you. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we apparate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Antagonists of this game? Like, I don't know, I just find it silly. Quickly now! I actually want... Where's my steel? Now I just gotta figure out how to get the dude. Oh, there we go. Cool. Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. Uh, I don't remember what that was. Petrificus? Oh boy, we're gonna have to figure it out. <laughs> no. I don't remember what that is. That's not it. I don't have it. like a sneak attack basically that was dumb they could have at least like told you <laughs> Good for you. 
Rebellion. Yeah, I want to make sure I don't miss. That'd be annoying. the witcher very badly. Revelio. I feel like we're supposed to go over here. Rebellion. Orders directly from Ranrock. These orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. What names? And why here? Revelio. I will draw blood. Oh, this will be a lark. Not quick enough. <laughs> Can bring her. Excellent. Let's get this over with.
Looks like we found the entrance. I don't know how we're supposed to search the tower. Well, it's locked. How'd you do that? An unlocking charm. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. Well, it's convenient. Someone was an avid reader. Can't say I'm familiar with many of these titles. Or lighting issue? I probably wouldn't drink that if you don't know what it is. I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. Welcome Rebellion. to Sun Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say Sam Bacar's Tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. A reservoir of ancient magic, downstairs, near the entry. I've seen this before, in Gringotts and the Restricted section. Must have done something. Best have a look around.
traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Sight. At least I know what to expect this time. Look familiar. Akio. What did that burst of magic do? Perhaps I should examine things from both sides of the archway. changes when I move in and out of the archway. side but 
when I pass through the archway, it's blocked by a wall. More statues. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. Ah, now I see. No! So weird. Works. Akio. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Something must be different. Do you not see it? No. Oh. Dang it. We can't get over there. get used to these floors. Send me. Good 
Never get used to these floors. Incendio, Confringo. Yep, this is going 
be a Mazda area. Wonderful. <laughs>
time I don't care. some Bioshock actually. That is assuming it works. Yesterday I couldn't get it to work for some reason. That and I'm gonna make it and I'm gonna play it up here because Bioshock runs so smooth on PC. this there we go we're making um my 4k tv the main display because it looks so pretty on there assuming it can be played on the 4k tv because yesterday i couldn't get the launch for some reason wait i see a reason I see no reason why it wouldn't work, though. Ah, uh, apparently 2K has their own launcher now. That's new for me. And it worked. Boom. Maybe. It's weird. Would it be this screen? Yeah, it would be. Yeah, yeah, it would be because it's all black and crap. And I didn't think it crashed. Obviously, there we go. We are now good. Yes, I agree. Obviously. 
five shot, baby. It's been so long since I've played this. And I've been wanting to play it for so long. Like, no joke. It's one of the best games I've ever played in my life. Fuck. That's so weird. But yeah. Originally, I would have left that on, but it shows the bar at the top. And not doing with that. Maintain UI aspect ratio. I don't know what that means. So. Until the darker bit is just barely visible. Uh. Cancel changes. Um. Alright, I think that should be fine. Reddits Museum. This game is running like a freaking charm. 1960s, the Mid Atlantic. They told me, son, you're special. You were born to do great things. Yay! You know what? They were right. Only man. In 
what country is there a place for people like me? Uh, I don't get it. Okay. Look how pretty that is. Uh, they remastered this game so well. Science. Industry. Biology. Off we go now. Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose... Rapture. Sadly, where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, Rapture, can become your city as well. It's Big Daddy. I don't know if they ever put Big Daddy in follow, but they definitely need to if they had. for making this game. Absolutely genius. So smart. Alright, so wise jump, first aid, interact is A button. That's so weird. One more minute. Spears! Spears coming up now! Johnny, security's banging off all over. Get a move off! Okay, that's terrifying. Like, is where's it someone new? Is it someone new? Ah! Come and fight me! Oh my god, she actually is gonna fight me. Run! Oh my god, how do we get out of here? Oh, yep, uh, uh, black and white. How do I get out of here? Get me out of here! Would you kindly pick up that shortwave radio? I don't know how you survived that plane crash, but I've never been one to question Providence. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. Now keep on moving. We're gonna have to get you to higher ground. Take a deep breath and step out of the bathosphere. I won't leave you twisting in the wind. We're gonna need to draw out of hiding, but you're gonna have to trust me. If you are killed by hostiles of Rapture, you will be revived here and 
you'll be able, some of your health will be restored and you'll always have at least a small amount of ease to use or nice. They work automatically. So I guess you can't revive yourself then in there. It's just a safe point basically. There is a map! Oh my god, that's sexy. I can't believe there's a map. He just had his cherry popped. <laughs> Wonder if he's still got some Adam on him. Nothing. That's where I came from. 
just checking something. They need to make an open world Bioshock, please. So it gives you a little bit of health.
See if seven feels better. Oh yeah, that's way better. Too introverted for anyone to know this. Okay, yeah. Yeah, at first it was kind of lame because it was like. second.
Alright guys, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go eat me some lunch. But stay tuned, I will leave it on the start menu so you guys can look at those beautiful lights going back and forth. <laughs> but I will be right back, probably 10 minutes at max. 10 to 15 minutes, I'll say. But I'll be right back, so stay tuned.
Sorry about that. I hope I didn't keep you guys waiting too long. Uh, I gotta go turn my light off real quick. And I possibly might have to use the bathroom in a bit. <laughs> I think I might go ahead and go now. That way I don't have to keep you guys waiting. So just give me one moment and I'll be right back.
I am officially back. I apologize for making you guys wait and stuff. Um, we are going to get back into some Bioshock. Thank you guys for waiting. I appreciate it. Um, but anyways, let's get into this. Let me get a drink of coffee real quick. And let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I do have a question for the chat. Have you ever watched Rick and Morty? That is my question for the chat. And if anyone wants to reply, you are more than welcome to. Alright, let's go. Also, after I beat Hogwarts Legacy, I will be making a um, full playthrough of it. So stay tuned for that. It'll be on my YouTube channel, GamerGuy138. But anyways, let's get into this game. I love this game. It's so much fun. Hack it. That's actually interesting. Welcome to the Circus of Values! Thank you. For real. What the fuck? Whoop his ass! Dang, how much health does that thing have? Bro, that reminds me of Fallout. Please stand by! Please stand by! Why is it? Yeah, they don't like that, do you? He's the one that runs this place. But I don't expect him to hand it to you out of the milk of human kindness. Steinman ain't that kind. And frankly, I'm not even sure he's still human. Here's all. Get the key from Steinman. Uh, one question. How? If I can't go in there? Just kidding, I know how. Take a left. Oh! Oh. My. Glob. That is amazing. Give me with your best shot! Up we go now. Get over here. Why do you think I play this? Got him. Is there anyone else left? <laughs> I don't know, I think you're nothing. Got special ammo. Press over. Oh, I see. Piercing rounds. Cool. Nice 
That thing. Sorry, babe, but you are straight up a okay. baby. You keep an eye peel for Stoyman. The dark bastard set up shop in the surgery wing. You want to find him? Just follow the blood. Also, chat, let me know if I need to improve the quality or the, uh, the refresh rate on the stream, um, or if it's fine the way it is. I'm gonna go from behind. I love this game. It's been so long since I've played it. But... I think it was because I got burned out on it. Ow! What the heck happened there? Maybe I can shock it. Like, uh, Dishonored, honestly. Sixteen dollars to heal? Sure, that. Actually, I... Where'd she 
go. What is shooting at me? Is that you? You're annoying. I thought she dropped the gun. Stinman kills. I don't know what that said actually. Dental. Welcome to the Circus of Value! Something shooting at me. Oh well, whatever. Let's go. Don't. Security cameras. I can hear the infernal things all around you. Riot eyes and ears. Vita Chamber. Go ahead and save it. I'll say I'm kinda tired, so I'm gonna go ahead and quit. 
yeah, I think I'm just going to end it right here. Mostly just because I'm tired. And I just want to lay down. He gets a rest. I mean, I'll probably be back a little later. It's just right now I'm just like, I need a nap. <laughs> so I'm going to end it right here. Thank you, everyone who came in. Thank you, uh, Unchained Chimp, for coming in and stopping by and saying hello. And uh, I'll be back on later tonight. I'm just going to get off for now and just take me a little nap. But anyways, thanks everyone for stopping by. And I will talk to you later.